One of the issues we always used to have on our farm is we'd think we'd have this great crop coming along and then we get to the end of the year and some of our fields were not really the best. I mean, average at best. And we'd say, well, why didn't that field yield real good? And the common response was generally, we'd say, well, maybe we just needed more nitrogen. Let's put more nitrogen on the corn next year. So we'd put more nitrogen on and our yield wouldn't go up. And then we spent more money too. Not a good deal. So how are we gonna solve a problem like that? How do you figure out what is wrong in your crop? Well, you have to analyze things, and to do that, you probably need some numbers. And one of those numbers that you really need to look at throughout the season is a plant tissue analysis. So you can actually take some plant tissue, test it for its nutrient content, and find out how much of that expensive fertilizer your plant was actually able to utilize throughout the growing season. Okay, so here's what we're talking about. We want you to go out into your fields, whether it's corn, soybeans, wheat, or any crop you have, and actually take some of those plant leaves and send them in for analysis to a lab. We use Midwest Labs in Omaha, but there are a number of good testing labs across the country. What we want you to do is take a field and mark a particular spot in that field through either GPS using like a farm pad or something, or just take a flag out there and mark it and go back to that same spot every single week. Now, I know you may say, oh, I got enough jobs to do, I don't need another job, but you know what? With just a little bit of effort, it doesn't take much. Send your wife out or your kid or whatever if you don't think you have the time. It'll only take a few minutes to take this leaf sample. You send it in and then you've got information. And if you do this every single week throughout the season, I will absolutely guarantee you, you'll be able to tweak your fertility program. Even with soil tests and everything else, you'll be able to tweak your fertility program so you can make it better next year and maybe you won't even have to spend as much money. Well, speaking about money, plant tissue tests cost about 20 bucks. And you say, man, I'm gonna spend 20 bucks. How many times do I have to do that through the year? Do I have to do it like a bunch of times? Well, if you want good data, you do. Because a plant tissue test is just a picture of that particular day. So on that day, here's what was in your plants for nutrients. You would like to see that over a period of time. And what I would suggest is doing it once a week. We do it on Monday mornings. That way we have a fresh sample. We mail it into the lab and we know it's not gonna sit in a mail truck over the weekend or something during the summer and turn bad. We're gonna get it to the lab quickly, and by the end of that week, we're gonna have results back that we can look at and kind of analyze what's going on in our plants. Are they getting more nutrients in? Are we starting to become more and more deficient in certain nutrients? And we just learn quite a bit. So if you're doing it, say once a week for about a 10 week time period, you're going to invest $200 to find out how that field's doing and what nutrients are getting into the plant. When you compare that to what you're spending on fertilizer, it's really a good return on investment to learn this information. Okay, talking about sending those samples in, we're going to strongly encourage you, use a paper bag when you're sending it in. In fact, you can call the testing lab and have them send you some sample bags. And also, you can go to our website if you want or talk to your testing lab and find out what you're going to need for this sample. In other words, at the very early growth stage, maybe you need the whole plant. At a later stage, maybe you need a particular leaf on the plant. Just make sure you're doing the sampling correctly. But you can get some great information out of this. And if you don't believe what I'm telling you, let me, let me just suggest a very simple thing you can do on your farm. Take the best area of a particular field and the worst area of that same field and run samples on each of those each week over the course of the summer, I will guarantee you by the end of that summer, you're going to know why the good area is good, why the bad area is bad, and hopefully you can get that bad area up to where the good area is in the near future. I get a lot of questions about plant tissue sampling throughout the year. Many guys say, I've never done it before. I'm nervous that I'm not gonna do it right. It's really easy. It only takes a few minutes each week to do. And if you're curious about exactly which parts of the plant, I know Brian talked about it just in general terms, which parts of the plant to use. We actually have some more information on our website at agphd.com. If you're interested, you can just go to our resources tab off our homepage and you can find a complete listing of a number of different crops and how you do plant tissue sampling. Okay, so to give you an example off our own farm, when we very first started doing plant tissue analysis, this is going back about 10 years ago now, what we found is we were actually excessive in nitrogen, but we were very deficient in zinc and boron and potassium. 
So what we did the very first year is we pulled some of our nitrogen dollars out and put those into potassium, zinc, and boron. So literally, we didn't spend any more money, but we got more yield. And isn't that what we're all after? We're just trying to, again, tweak that fertility program to make it better for the future. Now, certainly you can use this plant tissue analysis to do some foliar feeding or some side dressing this year, but more than anything, we use it as we go down the road for next year and the year after and the year after to try to figure out how we're really doing and fine tuning our program. Well, one last comment I have, we get asked by so many people, what can I do to take the next step to get better yields, to get more profitability on my farm? Plant tissue analysis, if you're not doing it, is an easy way to learn a lot more about fertility. And let's face it, it's the biggest crop input expense that most farmers are going to have, and you're probably having on your farm as well. You're spending a lot of money on fertilizer. Why not figure out if you're spending too much on one thing or not enough on another and get a great return on investment by doing plant tissue analysis? Well, plant tissue analysis is very important, but so is controlling weeds like our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed?